Hello, Grimos, and welcome back to downloadable content. And that's right. It must be Monday because, say it with me now, it's Mod Showcase Monday! Monday! This week I have scoured the very depths of Nexus to bring you this Mod Showcase because I wanted to. Some mods you may have seen and others you definitely missed. So without further ado, let's dive right into this Mod Showcase. Our first mod is something I'm going to have to give a lot of context to, but it is the Sword Beam spell by Genix. Now I have shown this one probably last week or something, but it was a top secret beta, so you weren't allowed to get it, but now you are allowed to get it. So in my little book here, I can customize everything. I can say if the beam would dismember something or someone, but you know, that's, that's the context. But you could also change things like the beam cooldown and hand speed. So this is the default one. So I'm gonna go into my spell wheel and go here, this little sword beam one, he made a little custom thing, so that's cool. So I hold it, my hand goes like this, so now when I move it, it's gonna shoot and I could do it in different directions. You could also change the sword beam color. I have mine set to red, because red is really cool. And before I show you the spell, let's go over the context. So this right here is a uh, quote unquote person. Now it's not a real person because you know, it's like PS2 graphics, but this is a NPC. In the world of Blade and Sorcery, NPCs are human-like, but don't forget, it's still just a game. Now, if something like metal were to hit this, like give me, give me this. So if something metal were to hit a fleshy-like thing, some like oil-looking thing will come out. <clears throat> so you see how that comes out right there? And eventually, if you hit it hard enough and you really get in there like on the elbow or something, it might even, come on, it might even come off! Well, it didn't anyway, but still, that's much needed context for what's about to happen. So now if I was to use my sword beam like this, hi and it were to hit them, well, it's gonna be pretty uh, devastating. So let me show you. If I just go like this, and hit him with a very basic spell. Well, I actually didn't dismember him, so the context is still needed, trust me. Like on this guy right here. If we go into this mode and do double cross slash. Oh wow, he's resisting. Oh, that's because I have that beam damage set really low. If we crank that up, that's gonna be like an instant defeat for them. Hiya! Oh wow, still no. You know what? I'm gonna change the beam color to green and beam color intensity. Let's do that. Oh, you can change the beam size also. I wonder what that's gonna become. What's this look like now? Oh my god! <laughs> That's so funny, look! Look how big these beams are! <laughs> yeah, that might be too big. That's the right size, and the green looks really sick. Oh, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention to so much context. So, let's put a couple of angry guys on the beach here. And now I will use my sword beam. Dude, I don't think so. You're a prime candidate for a sword beam. I missed. You have to really, uh, kind of get in there. Sword beam slash! Well, did it bounce off the beach? I don't think so, bud. Now! Oh, yes! That, that looks really cool. Oh no, you have failed yourself. What I like about the sword beam here, it really uh, makes me want to go into like my villain arc here. And I've always wanted this one. I'm so happy that Genix indulged me. And I'm so happy that you guys have this spell now too. So you're gonna have such a good time with this beam sword slash. Moving on, we have the legendary long sword pack by Virgil's only chair. We have to go back inside my house to really appreciate this one. You won't actually find this pack in the sword category. You're gonna have to scroll down here to see the legendary long sword. So we're selecting that now. Look at all these cool things right here. You have the glistening, crimson, all father's blessing, the silver templar, and the war scarred bastard sword. So let's start with the glistening edge. And now we'll go outside where it can truly Glisten. Wow, look at that one. This is cool. It uses the sheath framework. It's a little skinny. A little on the skinny side. But let's check the efficacy of the sheath framework. Oh, look at that blade. That looks so sinister. I'm going to need a special friend to help me try this one. Hey, special friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out for a sec. Yeah. Oh, these are good blades. Already I'm having a great time with this one. And look, you have your own sheath too. Let's try another. Oh, the Crimson Bane. Yeah, this one looks like it's gonna be my speed. Oh, it looks so beautiful in the light. Take a look at this. And now the unsheathing. Oh man, another sinister looking blade. Now, do these are these actual holes? I can't tell. Sir, can I borrow this thing? Thank you. I don't think it's an actual workable hole though. It would have been cool if um, you made the colliders like this one, but I understand how 
uh, crazy there would have been. Hello, friend. Dual wielding, pretty cool. Ah! Yeah, right through the heart, I know. Oh. Just perish, unfortunately. Was it just me or did his voice, like, echo? Well, it doesn't matter now. Another cool blade. Now we have the All Father's Blessing. It looks very similar to the other one. Let's take it out. Oh no, this is way different. We're gonna need two volunteers for this one. Prepare yourself for the All Father's Blessing. Absolutely not. Don't even think about it. You can swing if you want to. Good. That, that wasn't at me. So okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's chill out there. Don't show them a mod before I show them it. You crazy person. It's time for you to have the All Father's Blessing. Whoa. What am I looking at here? Yeah. I don't know, but here's a blessing from the All Father. Congratulations. Oh, nice. And you have the the blood getting painted on it. This is a, a very cool one. It reminds me of a a Lego sword that I used to have when I was a kid. It's a very specific sword, and if you know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comment. I'm excited to take a look at this silver Templar sword because it really looks like a Witcher blade. Oh my God! It really does look like a Witcher's blade. Don't use a an arrow. All right. If he uses his arrow, we're gonna have to do this and deflect it. <sighs> Witcher time! Oh, yeah, now get over here. We gotta really see the blade. Spin move with the scabbard block. Oh man, another super fun longsword. I am a huge fan of longswords, so, um, oh no, oh no, 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 no! Ugh. Yeah! This is awesome! And of course, we have to take the Warscard Bastard Sword. This one is crazy looking. Look at the, like, hilt right there. Let's take it out. Oh, yeah. This should be fun. Another archer. Well, at least you have. You're using a knife? And you're using it backhanded also? Ah! Congratulations, you lost against the bastard sword. So, don't bring a knife to a bastard fight. Up next is a continuation of a mod I already showed, but it's come a long way, so let me show you it again. It is the U10 Animations Overhaul by Plapatine. Now, let's go on an epic boat trip for this. Here we are at the arena. And much like last time, we're gonna take a look at the various animations. So let's start um, some 1v1 waves. Come on out, don't be shy. There's our first person. So, they're gonna be using some crazy weapons, but also have new animations. So he's using a one-handed sword, so he might not have that many new animations, but we're surely gonna see yeah. definitely seen that one already bud we've seen this one before well he has more jump back i don't know if you guys are telling right now but they will now dodge a little bit better which is sick but sir if you don't show me a new move within the next like two seconds it's gonna be completely over for you i just want you to know that i'm gonna keep my sword up yeah no maybe the next one you a dual wielder dual wielders should have good animations so We've seen that one, but he's in a combo. Yeah, there you go. So they'll combo now way more effectively, which I think is really cool. And the animations are way less cursed, which I think is super awesome. But, ugh, left yourself wide open. Next, one-handed sickle. You know, I feel like you're not gonna show me any new animations either. Oh, you comboed me. <laughs> I stand corrected. You. Do something cool. I know you're gonna combo me, but I wanna see like the sword spin. Yeah, I didn't think so, so he's done. Another dual wield guy. See, I was hoping to see more like spinny cool moves right now. These guys are just embarrassing the showcase right now. One guy did some new things, but these guys are just being weenies. Come on, man, we've seen that already. Do a spin. <laughs> you can tell their brains are like trying to think of new moves. I promise you, they will definitely do some new moves and stuff. It really depends, I think, on the weapons they have as well, so keep that in mind. Maybe I'll give them a long sword and see how he kind of handles that. All right, so you don't need that anymore. I'm gonna drop this down for you and then you're gonna figure out how to pick it up, right? I'll be over here, I have my own long sword. So pick that up and then we're gonna have a fun duel. Good, good, pick that up right away, that's perfect. No, those are the same animations as before. I know you can spin, I've seen them. You're comboing way better now. I'll at least give you that. But I want to see, you know, more form. I want to see new moves. Do you have new moves? Yeah. I know you do. It's in you somewhere. Yeah. Think about it. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh. oh, gross. Well, I mean, eventually they'll do moves. But I think you guys have seen enough. And if you want to see more... Go to my previous mod showcase where we took a look at more spinning animations. Moving on is a weird mod. It is Smokes 
by Skella. Found in the consumables category, you're actually gonna select food. And then in there, you're gonna get a cigar and a cigarette. Also, you can get this cigarette box. Uh, that way it just stores cigarettes for you. So if you're like a chain smoker, you know, you could smoke all of them. But let's take a cigar and let's take the cigarette. So the cigar and the cigarette are pretty interesting. So it actually gives you more focus or mana, but you can actually put it to your mouth and take a look at this, ready? <laughs> and you can do a puff of smoke if you really wanted to with the alt use button. So I can go like this, ready? And then puff out the smoke. Let's see that in third person. Been a long day. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, puff of smoke. This is a ridiculous mod. It's just for no reason. Can you like use it to burn people? Let's get a guy. Come here, son. You did yourself a good job. I want to put my cigarette out on you. Come on. Come on. And this is a thing. Can you imbue it? Maybe you can imbue it, then do it. I mean, it's a consumable, so you can't consume. I want to do this. I want to use this. Ready? Add this to the next update. Psss, right in his eye, and he's like, ah! That's what I want for this mod. I wonder if they can do this. Here. He can smoke it, too! He can make them smoke it! <laughs> he puffs the smoke out. Yeah, look at you. You're really enjoying this one. I mean, you need it, bro, because this is going to be the last smoke you ever have, doofus. Remember, kids, smoking kills. We are now about to take a look at, like, a combo situation. So I'm going to show you the Colt, the Springfield Trapdoor, and those are by Vivence1997. And then I'm going to show you the Cowboy Armor Set by Skella. But first things first, let's go to the revolvers. Then we have, like, it even has a holster. So I don't want the unlimited ammo one. We're going to get the normal one. Yeah, look at this. And now we put it on our side. Now we're going to need some ammo, and we need a 45 pounds. So let's take that one and put this one on our left. You know, I still can't figure out how to, like, reload these ones. Like, this is an unlimited ammo one, so that one does that. And this is another unlimited ammo one, so that will fire. So that's cool. <laughs> but these other ones, like the holster ones that aren't unlimited ammo, I can't figure out how to get the cylinder out. Like, this is me. There's, I have a spell button. I'm using the index. So I have the touchpad, which does that one. You know, and I can't pull anything out. You know, there's no other grip on here, right? I'm grabbing here, and it doesn't open. I do the spell button with the holding the trigger. Nothing's happening. It doesn't, I don't know if it doesn't work with index. And I also read that you can like do like spins and stuff. And it also isn't working with my index and it's really bothering me. So there's that. So unfortunately we're gonna have to stick with the unlimited ammo ones. But that's okay, we could put it in the holster now. Let's also go to other and you're gonna have their Springfield model. So let's grab that now too, which is fantastic. I show this on Nomad also. And then let's grab the Springfield ammo pouch. Here we go, let's bring this outside. This one is one of my absolute favorite <laughs> rifles to use right now, so we're gonna cock it back, and then we're gonna have to open this little slide right here. Now it's one at a time, so you put the nice bullet in there. You can't do two at a time, that wouldn't be right, right? And now we have this, and a volunteer also. It's a loud gun, but it's one of my favorites. And then, you know, just pull it back, that falls out, right in there, you'll get the hang of it. And then we have the revolver. Simple to use, you just pull back on here and then let it fly. Yeah, yeah, I can't. You can also fam, fammer the hammer, hammer the fan, but um, I haven't figured out how to do that on the index, so you guys figure it out. But this is the good setup right here, and of course you could just quickly put it away, which I find very wholesome. And now, let's take a look at the armor, but I think we're gonna need a boat trip. Let's have some fun on the canyon. All right, here we are on the beautiful canyon. Now let's take a look at the spawn book. You have two types of waves. You can have your nice one-on-one -on -one for a duel or you can verse five of them. So let's start out with this duel real quick and maybe I'll meet them on that bridge. Oh, he's down there. I gotta meet him on this bridge now. Okay, I'm on the bridge, dude, come back. Where'd you go? Cue the cowboy music. Uh! Oh, I didn't reload it. Why isn't this one loaded? Oh, come on. You ruined the whole thing. I need to get the unlimited ammo one. Here we go. Yeah, get shot. Cowboy stuff. And now we'll take his. So he probably has an unlimited ammo one. Don't you? There's gonna be another one somewhere. I hear you. And... <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's cool. So we just go here, select V5, and let it rock. This time I'm ready. You! What, am I shooting you? I feel like I was, oh, he's falling to his knees. 
Oh my god, a Red Dead style execution! Everyone out of the way! Oh, that was so good. Hang on, guys. I know you don't have to reload, but I have to reload. So just give me a second. Give me a second. All right, ready? Let's go! Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, see, this is why I love Blaine's Sorcery. It just turns into every other game, you know? You can just uh, have so much fun. Bring it on! Oh, dude. This is a whole different game now. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. No! Look at this! <laughs> Please die. Dude, are you not dying? See, now I have to go in close range like this. Oh, my God. Western John Wick. So cool. Do you guys see this? Are you guys seeing what I'm playing right now? You guys could be playing this as long as you download these mods, but... Finish the mod showcase first. It's out of fairness. I show them to you. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna have to move on, bud. So I realize I made a mistake there and I forgot to actually show you, well, the Wild West armor. So let's spawn this guy right here. Look at that handsome devil. <laughs> and I'll spawn you. I just think they're different shades. Yeah, look at them. Look at how fantastic these guys are. What, reach for the sky. See, you too, sky. <laughs> this is excellent. Yeah, so make sure you install the armors also. You don't wanna, you know, make an oopsie like I did. Right, you wanna make an oopsie like I did? And I wanna see like a nice shootout. So let's do um, outlaws, these guys here. These guys are gonna be friendly. We're gonna make them nice and friendly and we're gonna put them over here. Let's say one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna put uh, four enemies on the other side. One, two, three, and four. Look at them go. The outlaws versus... <laughs> they all should have guns, so they should be shooting their guns. I don't know why they're not shooting them, but they better figure it out because I don't remember whose team I'm on. And you guys all look the same from up here, so start shooting your guns. Do it. Did he do it? He's not shooting his guns. I'm going to have to go down there. Listen, I know you guys can shoot these guns. You're, you're irritating me right now. This guy, is he bad or are you bad? Uh, someone just fired their gun. Uh, see, they can do it. It's him. He fired. Good for you. I'm going to... Oh, you fired also. So they can fire. They're just really bad at fighting each other. So that's... That's funny. This th this is what I was going to show you guys. So I'm glad I uh, fixed... Did you just have a knife? You pulled a knife? Oh my god, you just shot him in the heart, dude! Oh. The only remaining issue is you can't remove the holster for some reason. It gets stuck on you which is a, an enormous problem, and the only way to fix this right now would be to, like, uninstall the mod and then reinstall it after you change this out. So this needs to be fixed. Up next, we have another spell. It's called Gravity Reforge 2.0 by Sneeper. So we all know regular gravity, right? It looks pretty cool. So this one down here is Gravity Reforge, which also looks exactly the same, but that's cool things. Let's get some new friends down here. I made them... Nice and all skeleton y, so you know. Now let's go to Gravity Reforge and actually uh, merge the two of these ones. Come on, merge it. Merge. You're supposed to be able to merge. Oh, actually, I think I have to merge it with regular gravity. That, that's, a, that's my fault. So, Gravity Reforge, normal gravity. Put it together. Are you guys ready for this one? Because it disables the gravity in the entire map for everyone. And I think you just toss the cast. No, what the hell? Cast better. I'll figure this out. Hang on. Charge it up. Recharged. Right? And then we pull it apart. I said we pull it apart. I want to get pulled apart. I'm doing it. Come on. Well, that is um, embarrassing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Do it like this. Charge it up. And then you pull apart. No, you, you uh, pull apart while tossing. Okay. That worked. <laughs> yeah, so now this kind of turns into Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So that's cool. And then... It wears off. You could also merge this one with fire. And uh, do you remember what it does? Do you shoot it out or pull it apart? Pull it apart again? It just does pull apart and cast at the same time. Oh, what, what did it just do? It knocked everyone down? It's supposed to actually be like an impulse explosion. Let me zoom out. Now we're gonna try it. Everyone ready? hey -ya! It just goes behind me. <laughs> Let's try the lightning one. I feel like Sneeper, uh, you need to cast this a little bit better. Okay, well, that's that's kind of powerful. It hits multiple guys at once. That is pretty cool. 
Moving on, we have Force Disarm by Chaos Greg. Have you ever been on the beach and then a horrible skeleton comes after you and you don't have a weapon? Well, with Force Disarm, you look right at the thing, you press the trigger, and this flies right to your hand. And now, they're on the other side of this one. Isn't that pretty cool? So, of course, this one's going to satisfy your Star Wars need, but if you don't want it to be Star Wars, doesn't have to be. You can also customize it in the book. You could always leave on, always telekinesis. You can have ways dis disarm, target, or grab, so it depends on how you want to change it. And then you can do just pull or pull and grab. So just pull, um, it's a little weird because this is what it does if it was just pull. You would pull it like so, and then your character would actually drop the thing, which is what you don't want. Like this, give me your sword. It looks really clumsy, so that's why you're going to want to leave on pull and grab. Go ahead, pick that up. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna steal this from you, and now we're good to go. Yeah, I love using this one. Of course, like I said, for lightsabers, it's the way to go, but if you're looking for just like a really cool thing, you wanna feel like a powerful medieval wizard guy, force grab. Our penultimate entry on today's list is another spell, and that is the Fire Dragon Fist by Talion. Now, if you look at your spawn wheel, you'll notice that there is no fire dragon fist, and you're probably thinking, oh no, I installed it incorrectly, but don't worry, you didn't install it incorrectly, because it's actually hidden in the fire spell. So you select the fire spell like so, and you hold down trigger to cast it, but then, if you also do grip, you're gonna hold it in your hand like the fire dragon fist it is, and now you can really do your own falcon punch. Look at this guy, Falco! <laughs> I couldn't even not break in there. I'm sorry. And then what I like to do was like, oh my god, my hand's on fire. <sighs> you know, and just be extra cringe. But let's see it in a more practical situation. So let's get um, a couple of villains on the beach here. And then I'm going to get two fireballs like so. We will cast them and now grab them. So now, nope, punch! I don't think so, punch also! And it is very devastating. Come on. Didn't think so. Fire dragon! <laughs> Jump backwards and then double fire dragon. Did you guys see that one? This guy's gonna be shot into the stratosphere with a fire dragon uppercut. <laughs> very cool, right? So awesome. So very simple to use again. You hold down fire to cast, and then while holding down the trigger, you also down hold down the grip. And now you are good to go. Our final mod is another spell, but it's by a modder I haven't seen in a while, so I'm hoping showcasing this one reawakens that spark inside of this modder. It is the Plasma Spell by Ghostly888. Going into my spell wheel here, I'll have this little Plasma section right here. This one is kind of like a recast of the Fireball, but it looks really cool. And it has a requirement, which is Genix exploding Fireball. So you cast it, and then, boom, it explodes, and it looks so cool. So now you can really do some, like, Dragon Ball Z stuff. <laughs> cast them both into the sky, and then pull them straight down like this. You feel like... Krillin, which is really awesome. And did I mention these things can merge? Let's merge it with regular lightning. Does it do anything? Nope. Let's merge that with fire. Does it do anything? It does have a fire merge. So let's go ahead and go like this, and then we'll cast it. So wherever that hits, boom! Look how sick that was. Let's try with gravity. Nothing with gravity, huh? What about with itself? Yep, here we go. We have something with itself. This is a super powered I think like energy ring. Yeah, it is. Look at that. This thing looks, I mean, it's a re, it's everything, right? We've seen this one because that's the lightning spell. And I think it has its own custom like imbue effects. Here is the short sword and now here is the imbue. Look, it turns all plasma and red. It's really good for taking out monsters. <laughs> that looked awesome. Let's finish off this fight with just a couple of monsters. Look, we've lined the beach with them. So let's see how much damage one of these does on him. Okay, you know, it's, it's all right. But now we've known we can merge this one with a fireball and cast a super power one right there. Oh, I think that was almost all of them, if not all of them, right? That was amazing. Okay, we're gonna need a few more of you now. So now we can jump, really get in there for a nice explody fireball. Didn't really do anything, but it's okay. Jump backwards and fire. <laughs> And now we'll merge it with its own power. Oh, whoa, I don't want that. I'm just gonna merge this with its own power. I'm sorry, stop stealing their stuff. Okay, now. <laughs> oh. Ah, there we go. We mixed a couple of mods together. I guess we might as well imbue this one, right? You can have that. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Yes. Ugh. There's one more, isn't there? Anime death for you. Well, my 
right, friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you, Tyler, had such a great time today. And if you did, why not consider subscribing? It's free. Literally, all you have to do is click the big red subscribe button down below and join up. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. Don't forget to check out all the rest of the stuff on the channel. But other than that, I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time. Oh,